Hey, what's going on, guys? Once we be here back, my dear back, with some more crash landing. You guys said you wanted this series, so here I am giving it to you. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. What we're going to do this episode is I finally figured out, as you may recall, last episode I completely derped on how to do uh, that quest, the uh, this one here, where you had to turn in the empty PCB, but I finally figured out how to do it, and there is a skeleton, I knew there was a skeleton, I'm going to block off right now, just in case, so I figured out how to do it, which is very nice, so basically, this one here, so you had to toss an empty PCB into a UV light box, so what I actually did was, it's out over there right now, and I'm actually going to sleep, because sleeping is good for you children, children, sleeping is good for you, just your mobs can get it from there, not a good thing. Watch a mob, watch a baby zombie just come in from down there. Whoa, okay. Gonna pop that back in there. How's this doing? Is this empty yet? Nope. Still got a little bit more dust to sift and then I'll have it make gravel for later if I ever need it. So, basically why I did this is I actually want to level up my sword because there we go, as you can see. And that was legitimately luck. Perhaps holding on to it will bring you luck, 100% luck. I have no idea what this 100% luck thing does, but you know what? Who cares? Who really cares? So I have a couple things I want to do this episode. What the? You're hacking. That was a hacking spider. You guys can back me up on that. That guy was hacking. He had force. He had force field. I couldn't hit him. That was bull. You're dead, dude. So we're just going to run around for a little bit here. Try to get a little bit of stuff. As we usually do from these mob exhibitions. A exhibitions. So we now have one remaining modifier. And how much durability does this have? Doesn't have very much durability. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some auto repair to that. And this guy. Hello. Whoa. Lag spike. Okay. Dude, you're not dead yet? How? Okay. So let's just go bang, bang. I can one shot crit these guys. So I just gotta one shot crit everything. Except for that one. That one I can two shot. Okay. You're about to be dead. Oh hi! You're a brutish skeleton! Oh my god, I'm really low health. I'm really, really, really low health. Okay, not okay. Not okay. Okay, this is not okay. How much? I still got tons of ammo. Okay, we're good. Oh, is that the creepy plant seeds? Oh, yes, I actually needed those. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, no, no. That did three and a half lots of damage. What is this? Why does this guy do so much damage? Oh, my God. Oh, my actual God. These guys, I'm never going to kill them. I don't think I'm ever going to kill these guys, actually. One's giant and the other one's brutish. Okay, this one should be... Yeah, the... That one's dead. That's good. Thank finally. Dear Lord. They took forever to die. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get on to what I was actually going to do in this episode. I feel like that would be a good idea. So, let's go ahead and head back inside. And we now have, as you can see, we have an etching acid bucket in our inventory that we got from before. And what we actually did for this quest is we actually had to bring that out. And hook that onto here and then put air uh, in well put air in here and feed it into this so now this is empty etch success 100% throw in etching acid to develop so apparently we just put this just like this actually let me let me put this somewhere else and I'll actually fix this up I'll right back. okay so I've just put this over here for the moment I will move that later is this gonna hurt me I should get ready to get out oh yeah that hurts me Oh yeah, um, ow, that hurt. Okay, so apparently we just chuck this in. Uh, let's check the quest book real quick, actually, just in case I messed that up. Okay. Uh, second step. Now we've gone this far, you can start laying foundation. No, wrong one. Next up, toss it in. Uh, no. I don't know which one I'm doing. Wait, claim reward. There we go. Etching, there we go. So now you have an empty piece of what do you do with it? Simply you drop it 
in a hole and pour etching acid over it. It takes five minutes to process. Ugh. So you're gonna pick it up a few times to make sure it's the process and to make sure it doesn't do it. Are you serious? You're gonna make me actually have to babysit this thing? So I'm just gonna leave it in there. I'll pick that up in a second. Let me actually go quickly fix this because I meant to fix this before, but I didn't end up doing it because of the fact that I got these capacitor thingies. So, I was going to do this, but I was about to die. So, thank God we actually got four of them back. So, you can now put that there. I was just lighting up a little bit. Because it was very dark around here. I'll have to hide the lighting later. But for now, I'll just put these in places around. So, that's good. I'll break this. And just place a bit of glowstone there. There we go. And then I can just... There we go. There we go. I have swag now, guys. Okay. So let's just farm this. Hello, goodbye. So we got tons of this stuff here. I still don't know how to get seeds. If you guys could let me know how to get seeds, that would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly convert this into sugar. Uh, so I've forgotten the recipes to most of this stuff, which is kind of not good, but I'll figure it out in a minute. So I have creep plant seeds. So I want to set up a... Uh, plant farm for these creeper plant seeds because with this I can actually make uh, with these rain plant seeds I can actually make blue plastic and I can use to get these pneumatic stimulators and I can get these pressure chamber interfaces which will let me not use air and it's also part of this quest there so we should go pick this up now let's go pick this up and see how it's doing yeah okay that, that's like poison uh, etching success, etching progress 58%. Okay, so it's over halfway done. So let's quickly just uh, harvest a couple of these crops. The peanuts are not going very well. I will admit that these peanuts are very slow. They are incredibly slow. Uh, is that it on all my plants? Yes. i got to create like a bigger one later, and I will do that, as I said, later. So for now, how much bread do I have? I have no bread. I should get bread. Let me actually start cooking bread. Okay. B cooking bread. Yes, you can cook bread. Obviously. Uh, this thing is going to run out soon, but that's fine. How do you make dough? Water, salt, flour, and mixing bowl. Water, salt, flour, mixing bowl. I'll get that later. I don't have time now. Unless I don't have time, I mean I'm lazy. Okay. Set over here. There we go. Uh, can we... Is it going to change? I don't think it's done because that looks exactly the same. Is it going to change? I kind of doubt it's going to change. Hmm. I wonder if we can make an infinite water source of etching acid. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Is this going to change or not? Doesn't look like it. Is it done? It, let, me, let me check if it's done. Oh, it changed! Unstable PCB. Boom. Done. Okay. I'm not sure if it changed as it was in the water or anything. That is Minecraft days. Okay. Uh, Unstable. Last step. You need transistors and capacitors for the step three of each. Recipes are, are in NEI. We need a printed circuit board. Thank God we got three of them right there. So let's go printed circuit board. Printed circuit board. How do we make this? Uh, it's shapeless, so we just have to add everything in. So it's shapeless, so it doesn't matter what recipe we use. Actually, I guess we can keep this etching acid in here, I guess. Why not? It doesn't hurt to just keep it in there. I mean, what, what's what's wrong with that? Uh, let's just go ahead and just put this in a crafting table and just go boom, boom, and boom. Printed circuit board, boom. Claim reward. We get a second one, I think. Yeah, we do get two printed circuit boards. Okay. This unlocked two more. Tools of the trade. Uh, charging station. Require charging with compressed air before they can use... Do realize the charging station balances air pressure with the arms being charged the rest of the system. If the tool has more bars of pressure than the rest of the air pressure network, it will actually discharge. Hmm, upgraded. So we have to make these. Okay. So we have to add them, and we get one of these. I have no idea what one I have to do my research on that. But I want to try something real quick. So these, if I can find them. Oh, they're in here, I think. These redstone flux capacitors are just empty. I want to see if I can charge them using this UV light box. I want to see if I can charge them, and I'll show you guys what I did. So, pretty much, I just did this, and I just got the air compressor, and that's losing a bunch of air, but who cares? I literally just went like that, 
because uh, the thing's on the back. So this charges it. I'm not sure if this is going to charge. I kind of doubt. Oh, you put a PCB in there, so that's not going to work. Okay. Uh, okay, then. I still put that back. I want to try putting that, uh, putting them on a charging station, though, is something I want to try doing. So, let me actually quickly grab this quest real quick, because do we need speed? Do we need the speed ones? Machine upgrade speed. No, we have to. We actually have to craft them. Okay, that's going to be the most annoying thing in the world, so let's start doing that now. But, uh, first of all, I want to block off and I want to go to sleep. And then I also want to start doing a little bit of other stuff. And when I say other stuff, I mean... I want to try to... Oh, come on, let me sleep. That stuff is nearly full. Is that empty yet? Oh, it's onto it. Nearly onto its last stack. Uh, I want to start building things that don't necessarily... A part, that isn't necessarily part of the mod pack, but is, like, good to have. Like, it's just good fun to use. Like, the jetpack. I can use the jetpack with the leadstone thrusters, but I'm not sure how to charge that. That's why I want to look at this charging station as well. Uh, charging station. So let's have a look at this. How do we craft it? Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. How do we get this red plastic though? Fire flower seeds. Do we have any of those? I don't think we do. No, we don't. We have endo. But no fire flower. Is there any way to actually craft those fire flower ones? I doubt there's any way to craft them. Oh, grass seed and rose red. And we get rose red from roses. Okay, wait, hang on, can we bone meal this grass here and get roses from that? Please tell me we can. Whoa! Wild cactus fruit, which gives me cactus fruit. Uh, that's pretty good, I guess. Nutmeg sapling and a wild rutabag. Rhubarb, sorry, my bad. Oh, can I get seeds from this? Please tell me I can get seeds from breaking this, like, just regular seeds. That'd be amazing. Starfruit sapling, wild cr cranberry. I don't care about all your food. Okay, I don't. I really, really don't. Save one of these for later, just in case. Uh, come on, give me seed. Give me regular seeds. I'm not sure how to get regular seeds. I don't think there is a way to get regular seeds. Uh, what is this? I don't know. That is a pear sapling. Okay, I am going to eat because I'm hungry. Let's get my PB and J. <coughs> oh, nom, 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 nom. I love this. I legitimately have, like, endless food. Because I've got six of those, four of those, seven of those, and nine of those. And I could make a lot more very soon. So, star fruit, pear. What can I use pears for? What can I use pears? Pear. Ah, uh, pear, 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 pear. I can make fruit salad. Not very good. Pear yogurt, poached pear, fruit punch. Oh, that's what nah. Pears are useless right now, to be honest. So I'm gonna chuck away the star fruit, nutmeg, and pear saplings. Actually, I guess we can keep them for later on. I mean, why not? We can use them for decoration, I guess, if we really want to. So let's just chuck away everything in our farming chest that we have here. And I feel like we should start making some of these uh the iron the iron chests mod chest, if you know what I mean. No, you don't. Uh, I want to start making one of uh, some of these chests that you can get in the game. In the uh, iron chest. So if we go at iron chest. So you can make these ones here. So it's basically just a chest surrounded by them. Except for, you, there's two ways to make them. You can use, use eight or you can use a copper chest. Which is just copper. Which is not bad. And then you can also make an iron chest or silver chest. Okay, so I might make a sil I might make a silver chest because honestly, uh, silver and copper I have no use for at the moment. Then again, I might need a use for them later. Let's drop off all of this junky stuff that we have way too much of that we just can't get rid of. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, we've got plastic. I'm pretty sure we just need these, and we've got one of these quests from this one here. Two quests with not yes, this one here. So you got to pick on rubber tree seeds, redstone, or slime plant. I don't need redstone. Oh, I need water. That's what I do need right now is water. I'm going to go quickly grab some water. Do I have any in here? Oh, I've only got 5,400. I need to refill this soon. It's fine because underground, in my little area over there, I have 
so many. You know how I have 44 glass bottles? Yeah, I keep getting these. If you want to know how I keep getting them, it's because of the fact that when you craft uh, these into the juices, I'm pretty sure you get another one because I've just been accumulating them. I don't know how, but I've got all the furnaces underground. There were just like 30 of furnaces. I've got them all just uh, filled with a water bu bottle, which is very nice. So, what I want to start doing is let's make a copper chest, honestly, because why not? Let's make a copper chest. Or should we make, or should we make a silver chest? Uh, let's get a silver chest. Why not? Let's make a silver chest. So, we need silver. Silver ingots from either thermal expansion or eggs nearly hoe. Eggs nearly hoe looks like the way to go because it's got a lot of it. Silver. I've only got... I don't have very much of it, actually. I've only got that. How much of it have I got here? Silver. Okay, I got quite a bit there. Okay, I'll just use that instead. Then, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we... That was 7, not 8. Uh, I could bolt. I, I don't know what that does. I honestly do not know what that does, but that's fine. So, we can just head up here and start smelting this in our two trusty furnaces right here. Because I want to start being more organized and when i say organized i mean having more stuff so let's go ahead and put that in there like that there we go there we go ladies and gentlemen and i don't think we can get seeds from the oh an orange sapling just cause okay i guess we can grab this orange sapling actually because we can use it later because we'll definitely want to make a farm later oh my god wild cotton what can I make with cotton? Oh, that sounds fancy, actually. Cotton. Cot on. I can make nothing good. Okay. I can. Oh, actually, I can make string. Oh, that's actually really good because I can get with string. I can get the um the mesh. No, the where is it? Shapeless crafting. It's this one here. Hang on, if I can find it. If I can find it, which I can't, can I find it? I need to find it. Oh, but you can make uh, silk mesh, uh, web mesh with nine of them, and then you can use two of those to make a second oak sieve, or sieve, which is really good, so I can actually get a second sieve, so I can just sieve stuff offhand without having to go down to that one there, and our cotton should be done by now, so a wild mushroom, okay. Yeah, I don't think you can get seeds from that, which is unfortunate, so. Yeah, this is done. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Crap. Okay, we can just use an piece of wood. Why not? I don't even care. Just use that. Can I not use that? No, I can. Okay. So, we should... First of all, we should make a chest. Because I completely neglected to do that just then. But we can use that there to make a chest. And then we can do, like, that. And... There we go, that is a silver chest. No, it's not. Why is that not a silver chest? I'm confused. Silver chest. Where is the silver chest? Uh, uh, silver chest, there we go. So it's silver, silver and an, a copper, copper chest, okay. So we need a copper chest, which we get from, well, copper. So, we need to get copper as well. So, let's go ahead and make copper. So, I'm, sh I'm assuming silver is better than copper. I'm hoping silver is better than copper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Whoa. Hi. Nearly just ran into that. Also, I want to... Is this done yet? No, it's not done. It's nearly done. When it's done, I'll clear out all of this. But I want to start making gravel so that I can try to get more diamonds. So, I could hopefully make a diamond chest. Because that would just be amazing. Diamond chests would legitimately be the best thing ever. And I'm actually going to go get a piece of coal for this because organization, yay! So, we haven't really done much this episode and I do apologize for that. But, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead slime plant seeds. How do we get this? Uh, industrial fertilizer or cocoa beans. And what can we use it for? Uh, we can make brown plastic, which we can make an elevator cooler. Or we can make programming puzzle, upgrade lapis, upgrade tin, upgrade iron. We can make a bunch of these upgrades. Or we can make these plastic sheets. Actually, can we make these plastic sheets with everything? Yeah, we can. 
Okay, that's not hard then. So, I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to get this. Just because we can get rubber tree seeds quite easily. We've also got 69 dust, which is very nice. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we should pop this away with the rest of our plant seeds. That we should definitely go fill up later in this episode, hopefully. Then again, we're already 20 minutes in because I'm stupid. And I haven't put stuff in properly because I'm smart, obviously. Okay. Grapes. Whoa, holy lag spike. Okay, we're back. I think. Are we back? Yeah, we're good. Okay, sorry about that. I apologize for that. Cactus fruit. I'm just going to stick this stuff away in here. Okie dokie. So let's grab this copper chest. And actually, I kind of want to see how much extra storage this has. Okay, it has uh, two extra rows. Okay, that's good. Which means hopefully... This should have a lot more extra rows. Silver chest. How much does this have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. By 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 8 by 9. A single chest, usually. No, double chest is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. By 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's two slots more, which means I can basically just chuck everything I want in here, which will be very nice. So... Gonna keep that matic. And now I remember, I couldn't remember for the life of me why I got the cobblestone. I legitimately could not remember why I grabbed this cobblestone. Uh, you're not doing anything. Yes, you are. You're, you're actually doing something. It's taking a very... Okay, so just for a minute here, we're going to do a little bit of uh, reconstructing on this longsword. This longsword is pretty good. It has one modifier remaining, just four hearts, but... What we're going to do right now is we're going to grab a little bit of this and we're going to make a ball of moss, which is from Tinker's Construct. And with this ball of moss, what can you do, Willie, with this ball of moss? Well, I can add auto repair with this ball of moss. And the way to get uh, that is to just put cobblestone in here with water and power and it'll turn it into moss stone, which is really cool. So now we have auto repair on this thing. So this thing will auto repair itself. And as you can see, it has 102 lapis out of 450. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to put this in and that'll just change it to 103 and we can keep doing this and this can take forever so I'm just going to cut right now so I'll be back in a sec. Okie dokie, there we go. I feel that momentary there. So now we have auto repair on this thing and we also have 108 luck which is basically just uh, looting and I also made one of these new oak seeds as well so now we can just sieve stuff through there. Got a little bit of stuff in there but what I want to try right now for just the, to finish off this episode is I want to try making I want to try making some soul sand because uh with oh okay the tinkers uh construct modifiers you can actually get quartz and it gives it sharpness so pretty much I need quartz and how do I get quartz you may ask well if I come over here I can x kneel host sieve it and I get two possible jobs either 100% or 33%. I'm not sure what that means, but I get soul sand. And to get soul sand, according to the wiki, you have to place a bucket of water in a bag. Is there any way to make mycelium that will make this quicker? Mycelium. Mycel. It's mycel, isn't it? No? Mycelium. Here we go. So is there any way to make mycelium? No, but I'm pretty sure there is a way, so I'll have to look that up later. But for now, while this is quickly making it, I'm going to get some water from my stack of glass bottles that I just happened to accumulate because of the uh, making, because I was making lemon jelly before, as you can see, because that's what I was eating just before. So this is nearly done making witch water, and right with sand, it will turn it into soul sand. So I need sand, basically, and I actually have gravel right here, totally was deliberate the fact that I had gravel here. Totally, I promise you, it was deliberate. Wasn't just having that. Actually, how much gravel do we... Oh, we got to get that smelting soon, but... Should we have right click that? And boom, we have soul sand. So now let's quickly go into the sieve that we just so conveniently placed. See, it all works out in the end. So let's see this. Let's get a little bit of quartz. We got one piece of nether quartz. That's really helpful, game. Thank you very much. But with this quartz... Uh, with this quartz, we can actually... Uh, I don't think it comes up with tinkers, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. But with it, we can make sharpness. Uh, we can, so we can add sharpness to this thing. But first, before we can add sharpness, 
we need to get an extra modifier and the way to get an extra modifier is to kill mobs and get XP off of that so we're gonna have to kill some mobs for that so we'll definitely be doing that in the next episode so I'm gonna end this episode here hope you guys all enjoy the next episode we will continue on the quest line here try to get as many I didn't pick a reward for this let's get that just real quick so we are going to continue on with this quest here and we it's going to be amazing and we're going to try to get this and we're going to try to do that and then we're also going to try to make a tool forge and I'm also going to learn about the new tips and tricks that I can use to make my way in this area so I hope you guys will enjoy I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye